What's going on you guys? What's up? What to do? Welcome back for another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you're having an incredible week. It's actually Thursday right now. I'm trying to finish um, filming this video and getting it up on the exact same day for you guys. So I hope you're doing well. Thanks for tuning in. Um, today's video, I'm going to show you guys my dream house tour of a model home that my son and I went and toured the other day. It was a one story home. Um, I'm not sure when I do end up buying a house if I'll want a two story or a one story, but if I were to purchase a one story, this is like my dream home. The kitchen is gorgeous and like super nice flooring and so much stuff. I know you guys really enjoy house tours, so I thought you would like to see that in this video. Um, I actually wasn't planning on filming anything at all today. I have like no glam on, but as I was kind of editing the house footage, um, I figured why not just sit down and do a little chit chat with you guys before you hop into that about goals and goal setting in 2018 and manifesting your dream place and reaching any goal that you have for yourself because you are so worthy of that success and achieving that goal. And I feel like I have gotten so much better this past year at being so much more positive with myself and believing in myself that I can achieve my goals and dreams. And I have increased my income this past year. I've got a lot better at manifesting things and anything that I've learned, I want to share with you guys. I kind of shared my story a little bit last night on Instagram. If you want to pop over to my Instagram, I talked a little bit about my story, but I know not all of you follow me on additional social media besides YouTube. So I wanted to also like pop it in this video today to help inspire you or to just chit chat a little bit. So a lot of you always ask when I post on Snapchat that I'm looking at model homes. You're like, are you moving? Why are you looking at model homes? And I, well, first of all, I love home decor, right? So I always go so I can see how other people decorate other rooms and like what color schemes they do. And I just think it's really cool and it gives me lots of ideas for home decor. But in addition to that, I like to go always and look at things that are out of my price range or something I haven't yet been able to attain, like any higher level of success. I, I wanna go inside it, I wanna feel it, I wanna be around it, I wanna manifest that type of success into my life. So every single time that I leave model homes, I just leave so motivated and so determined and I am ready to take my business to the next level and increase my income and my value back to other people. And like, I can't wait until the day that I buy a home and this makes me like emotional because I was writing down my goals for 2018. And that's one of my goals in 2018 is to manifest and work extremely hard and be able to purchase my own home all by myself. And it does get me emotional because I know I'll do it. I am so motivated in my work right now and so many things I'm working on like a boss babe. Okay, I didn't want this video to get like corny. Um, I'm working on a boss babe academy, which I've mentioned for you guys for next year. And anywho, but I'm not moving right now. I love the current condo that I have. Two years ago, this condo was double my price range and I came in and got a price sheet just to check it out. And I walked out and I laughed at myself because I was like, why'd you even go in there? Like, it's way too pricey. You'll never be able to afford that. I was just barely in my first apartment or no, my second apartment at that time with my son. Um, I was doing YouTube like part time and I was still working at Verizon, which I really hated, but I was super scared to leave, which I think a lot of people get stuck in that position, right? Because it's constant money. It's a normal nine to five. You know that you have benefits. You know that you have a set pay every two weeks, but if you're willing to leave something like that, if you're willing to leave something good to pursue something great, your opportunities are just endless and unlimited. And the best thing I ever did for myself was leave Verizon and and do YouTube and do social media and affiliate marketing and networking. Like this has become what I'm so, so passionate about. And my YouTube would have never taken off to this level if I didn't leave that job because I would have never had the time to pursue what I loved. So yeah, I don't know. I'm always going to look at model homes and like nicer cars and stuff like that, even if it's not something I can attain at that exact moment because I believe in myself and my work ethic and like my drive enough to know that I will attain that level of success one day. And I just, I was talking about this on Snapchat last night about this past year, I've been trying to find out like what my niche is with my channel, right? Because I love doing vlogs. I love showing you guys like my single mom life and seeing Christian on camera makes me so genuinely happy. And I love doing makeup and I love doing boss babe and law of attraction and there's so many things. But I've been trying to think like, what is the core message of my channel? Like what's my niche? And I figured out that it's just helping people. It's helping other people grow their businesses if they want to work for themselves because I have learned a lot about affiliate marketing and networking and stuff like that. Uh, but my true, true, true fulfillment, like my ebook, you guys, has brought me some of the most fulfillment I've had this entire year. I worked my butt off to truly make sure that that 
book had so much value to give you guys and those of you who've purchased it and who've DM'd me on how it's changed your mindset or helped you to believe in yourself or really helped you to go for your goals and dreams, those messages mean more than I can even say. Like, And when I get messages like that and I know that I can connect with you guys on a more personal level, there's besides the love of Christian, there is nothing more fulfilling in the world. And I, I just know that my mission and my passion is to help people. So I want to put out so much more content in the new year just about the law of attraction and manifesting and helping you guys to build up your dreams or your business because I've realized that that's really what fulfills me. So I don't know, I just want to be that motivation for you. If you have a family who is unsupportive or a boyfriend who knocks you down or a girlfriend who knocks you down, first of all, get those people out of your life. You don't have room for that shit in 2018. You need people who are gonna build you up. You need a tribe of friends who is gonna push you towards your goals. And if you truly do have a negative family environment, first of all, it's, it's very sad that family or friends would even do that shit to you because when you love someone, you're supposed to be supportive. So if anything else, I am at least here for you guys. And I know that sounds corny, but I truly am. You can feel free to message me, like whatever you need. Um, I want my channel to be a happy place, obviously, where I'm like, where my content, I've got like fun and like funny content stuff as well. But the overall message is to help inspire you guys to just live your absolute dream because Three years ago, being stuck in two retail jobs and really struggling with Christian not having the money to even know where I was gonna live. I had to move in with my mom for a little bit. I had to move in at my dad's condo for a little bit. And now I'm in my dream condo that I, two years ago, it was double my price range and I could not afford it. I have an office now, I have a beauty room, like something I only dreamed of having. I used to set up my little plastic desk from Lowe's in my first apartment in the living room. I would drag all of my super cheap lights into that room, set up my little tripod, make like a makeshift tripod, and I would film videos in my living room. You guys could literally see my living room in my past like older videos. Um, because I didn't have a filming room. I didn't have an office. That was like a luxury. I could barely afford the rent that I was paying at my first apartment. And even at that, I was so grateful to even just be out of my parents' house, right? And to just even have my own place. But to know that if I could see into the future back then and just, just the nights when I was literally crying because I didn't have money. I overdrew my account so many times, I can't even tell you. My Mazda broke down so many times I couldn't pay for it to get repaired. Um... <sighs> I don't know, like that brings back a lot of just memories and fights and fights with people over money, over income. My, you guys know, I've talked about in my Boss Babe series, my credit went really bad. I've improved my credit over like 280 points the past few years. Um, if your credit is in a real bad situation, check my channel. I have videos on how I did that. Um, but yeah, it's crazy, you guys, what you can achieve in life when you work hard, when you're passionate about something, and when you just go for it. You have to stop holding yourself back. You have to stop being negative in your mind or telling yourself, I can't achieve that, that car is too expensive, that house is too expensive, I'll never attain that. Because if you tell yourself you never will, you never will. Your mind literally believes what you tell it and it is proven that what you speak into existence is what comes into your reality. Again, it's the same thing with the weight loss. You look in the mirror and you tell yourself, oh, I'm fat, I'm ugly. That's what you're gonna feel like every single day until you start to retrain your mind and retrain your beliefs into saying, I am worthy, I am capable, I am valuable in this world, I deserve happiness, I deserve wealth, I deserve abundance. Everyone does. You just literally have to stop limiting yourself and go for whatever it is in life that you want. I feel like there's just so much more I wanna tell you guys. Like, I'll cut it off there and we'll get into the house tour. Um, but yeah, I was just listening to a bunch of inspirational like entrepreneur podcasts on the way home yesterday from LA. My brain was just going about so many things I have plans for in the new year and that I wanna share with you guys and stuff for my channel I wanna do and just like the possibilities are endless. So I hope that you guys are also having a really great end to this year and that you are just writing down all of your goals and manifesting that shit into reality for the new year because you all deserve that much happiness and success and love. And I hope you enjoy this little house tour. I hope it inspires you to know that you can achieve this level of success one day in life if you just work really, really hard. I'm super excited for the day in 2018 when I do purchase my first home because I know it's happening. I've already envisioned it in my mind. I know it's coming to me. I know for a fact I can save up the money I need to. I know that I'll work hard to you know, do whatever else I need to do that will qualify me for that home. And when the right home is at the right price at the right time, I just know it's gonna happen. And I, I look forward to that day and that's like super exciting for me. So hope you guys also enjoy this house tour. Have an amazing rest of the week. I love you. If you'd like to hear a little bit more about my story, be sure to follow me over on Instagram. And don't forget, I'm giving away a camera this month. So check out my last YouTube video about that. And okay, that was plenty long. So love you guys. Have a great week. All right. 
All right, so when you walk into the first model, this is what you see. Huge, wide walkway, which I love. Nice artwork there, but I love, you guys already know I'm obsessed with like wood flooring and it's very, very wide, tons of room. I always love how they have models decorated. So you go over to the left and it looks like we've got linen closet. That's actually pretty big. First room, let me step back here. Pretty good size for the first like downstairs guest room. Oh, this is super cute. Nice little closet. And then their own bathroom. Ooh, I like the marble on the floors. Super nice white bathroom. Okay. Very, very high ceilings. I like that. It makes the room always feel so much bigger. And then, oh, so there's a little walkway right here and it leads into another room. That's cool. For being guest bedrooms, these rooms are actually pretty big. So nice another closet. So you come out here. Christian's already in the house, if you guys can see him. All right, so then back to the main walkway. Hi, Vivi. Hi, Mom. Is house so pretty? So you keep walking straight, take a right, and we have a huge laundry room. Again, love the marble flooring. I love the all new, like, white modern appliances. Lots of cabinet space, which is good. Wow, this room is actually huge for a laundry room. Moving over here, what do we have here? Another guest bathroom. Again, super spacious. Can you guys hear Christian in the back? He's like, how beautiful. This leads into another guest room, okay. Pretty good size there. All right, then moving to the left of the main hallway, there's another little open area. I love this, this would be so cool for filming. The high ceilings, nice decor, they have it set up as like a little office. Love the way they decorated this as well. Big, nice open rug, we got that nice flooring and then some little decor out here. Also another guest bathroom. All right, so moving into the kitchen, my favorite part. First of all, when you go out this, this little like walkway here, look how wide this is and how much floor space you get. I'll let you guys know how many square feet total it is, but you come over on the side and we've just got plenty of wall space for decor. And to the right, before we get into the kitchen, you go into the master. Love that decor. Um, and this room is actually huge. Love how they decorate. This is another reason I just love going to see model homes, just to see how people decorate and like what color schemes they put together. This looks like a cow king bed, so this room is definitely plenty of space. Love these storage bins. All right, so moving on into the bathroom, you just take a right over here. Full shower, all mirrored, love that. Tub, pretty big, nice like beige granite counters. Looks like we've got a sweetheart sink. Ooh, a little vanity seat, that's cool. That's a pretty big um, area there. Nice flooring again, super high ceilings for the bathroom. And then moving into the master closet. Walk-in closet, okay. Oh, that's pretty big. Tons of space there. So, moving back out here. Moving into the kitchen, my absolute favorite part. This is like my dream kitchen. It's absolutely just so, so, so beautiful. I love the white, love how modern it is. So much floor space, tons of square footage. Decorated exactly as I would decorate like my dream kitchen. Just so, so beautiful. Tons of cabinet space. So from this angle over here, you can kind of see their living situation like set up as well. I love that tufted ottoman. Again, we've got the really high ceilings with the curtains there. I'll try and back up because the lighting is better over here. Cute little side tables. Just so much room in this whole like living area. It's very open. Nothing feels crowded, which I really like. So you turn over here. Love that chandelier too. Again, we got the white like modern cabinets. Really nice dining room set. Just so much space, even between like these two. Plenty of space to walk, nothing feels crowded. Love the bar area. Got this. All new, like upgraded appliances. Really, really, really nice kitchen. Let's go over here. Nice walk-in pantry. Love that. And then the outside. Christian is already outside because he loves it, so let's go check that out. I really like how they have this set up out here. Hi, baby! I want to show everyone! I'm coming, baby. 
All right, so the way, this is just the way they have set it up. Obviously, you could do whatever. Nice little table out here. Got a little step up situation. Come up here, nice little fire pit. Some chairs. Hey, Hi, babe. Hey, Hi. Come show me. Ooh, hop off that, babe. We got a little game, little water fountain, some lounge chairs. It's cool, huh? It's beautiful. I'll walk over here and turn around and kind of give you guys a full view because it actually comes with a pretty big backyard. Okay, babe, two seconds. I want to show everyone the back of the house, okay? 